226 BW It's flickering This happens when the uh, power supply in the monitor itself is uh, going bad Actually the capacitors are going bad It usually does that flickering for about 5 minutes until it warms up <coughs> I'm going to attempt to repair this here soon, probably tomorrow all right, this is the uh, Samsung 226BW LCD monitor. When your monitor begins to flash, or not turn on at all, after a period of time, it is because the capacitors inside are bad. So you need to take it apart. It's fairly simple to do. It's about four screws in the back of the plastic uh, screen. And then the uh, rest is up to you as far as taking the uh, front bezel and prying it off. So slowly pry off the front bezel with a flat head screwdriver or <coughs> like a well, putty knife or whatever. Work your way around, go slowly. And uh, once you get that off, you'll see a wire, detach the wire right here it comes out like a little plug and then it'll be presented with the uh, uh, metal area metal box now it looks like it's hard to get into but it's not on the side you'll see a little metal thing here a little metal shield you will pry, pry it off where the holes are it'll just pop up and then you'll see these two wires unplug those okay once you get those unplugged this is the screen this is the power supply radio unit here screen power supply just lean it back fold it over make sure you're not pulling any wires because if you do you break a wire you're pretty much screwed because I don't think you can order aftermarket jobs like this because it's you know, very fragile Anyways, a couple screws on this board, and uh, you can lift it up. Now this cable here going from this to that, under here, there's a little plug. You have to push, squeeze it, and then pull it out. It does not detach from this board here. It's soldered in. There's no plug here. so. You have to go unplug it from this section. This is the video section, by the way. This is what sends signals and converts them to your, uh, uh, your uh, screen to your, uh, and goes to your computer. More than likely, I could not get this board off. I, don't, I didn't really try it. I didn't want to break it. From what I see in the back of the traces on this board, there are no capacitors. No uh, standard, you know, like power supply capacitors that you would need to change. There are capacitors on it, but you know, they're the uh, I don't know what kind of metal they use. It's not aluminum. It's something else. They're heavy duty. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But anyways, this board here. There are three capacitors on this board in the particular that need to be replaced. You can tell because they're bulged. At the top of them they look like a rounded shape. Kind of like a cone shape. If they're like that, that means they're bad. If they're flat, they're fine. So... Uh, 820 microfarads. Oh shit, let's see. 820 microfarads, 25 volt. You need, they're about 18 cents a piece. I ordered 10 of each from Mauser Electronics. 
you don't want to get two or three because it's just an insult to their company. They have to hand pick these things and send them out to you. So order ten of each, maybe more, or whatever. You can always sell them on eBay or something if you don't want, want to keep them. But uh, you want to get yourself 820 UF 25 volt electrolytic capacitor and a 330 UF 20 25 volt electrolytic capacitor. Get 10 of each. <coughs> 330, 820. Simple fix. If the screen blinks, if it flashes, if it doesn't want to turn on, if it takes a long time to warm up after it flashes, it's the problem. And that's a simple fix. It's a lot better than buying a new monitor because they're not cheap. Now this particular monitor is about three years old. I got it in 2007. And, uh, yeah, we're going to fix it, hopefully.